Long live the royals. Presenting His Majesty the King and the Royal Family. Greetings, dear citizens. Hello, King. Uh, yeah, hi. Today marks the start of the week-long Yule Hair Festival. With its cunning and resourcefulness, the hare outwits hunters and breathes the elements to provide for his brood. And then he and his brood become our food. <laughs> Let the festival begin. Ah, that was a good speech. <laughs> oh, Rufus, I should have never let you build that balcony. Yeah, Dad, come on, we haven't had breakfast yet. What? You all know I always get my pants enlarged for the feast. So one time of year I let myself go. Yes, but how far can you go? You're already gone. Love you. Da, Yule Hair Festival, such a wonderful time. Frederick, bring out the family album. Oh, come on. Yes, my lady. After all, torture is still legal. Ah, yes, the time Rufus ate an entire suckling pig on wager from the Duke of Boff Swallow. Oh, yeah, that's when I won the hair race. Rosalind hurling sabers in the servants' quarters. I only missed twice. Wait, why aren't you in any of these, Peter? Yes, I don't see you. Well, I was obviously there. I think I found one, my lady. What? I, I see the feast, but where's Peter? I'm right there at the table. What? That blob of paint? Servants, move in closer to the table. Hmm. Enhance. What are you doing at that table, Peter? Closer, over Peter's shoulder. It appears he's completing a placemat maze puzzle, alone. Yeah, I finished 15 mazes. I even helped the lion find some steak and eggs. Well, there'll be no mazes this year, because I'm declaring you the Lord of Misrule. What? The Lord of Misrule, Peter. You know, the life of the party. You get to wear the Yule hair costume at the feast on Friday and entertain us all. Servants, the costume! Whoa, it's huge. How am I supposed to move around in this? You get your friends to help you. Two or three in there will really get it moving. What's the matter, Peter? Don't have any friends. You're just like that single old boot. What, elegant with a rustic patina? Dad, come on, do I really have You're to... You're going to have the time of your life, Peter. But... Can't wait till Friday! Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah. Make us proud, Peter. As Peter stared at the detailed paintings of years gone by, he couldn't help but think if he would continue to be a solitary, featureless blob of a boy. Hey, Roz, you're like a friend, right? Nope, not helping you with the costume. Gavin, hey, what about you? We're friends, right? Who's this guy again? My brother, Peter. You've met him hundreds of times. It's not important. Yeah, sorry, man. It's not you. I have this brain condition where I don't recognize boring people. Got hit in the head with a soda can in a punk show. I wrote a song about it. Everything sucks! Can in the head! Now I see blobs! 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 Ha! Huh. Killer song, Gavin. Anyway, so I... I wrote that song for you. Ugh. Oh, man. How am I gonna get any friends? Perhaps you haven't found the crowd you fit in with, my young lord. The in crowd? Yeah. Hey, maybe I can get in with the dandies. What? Those foppish young trust funders that never seem to do anything. Yeah! Thanks, Frederick! Well, perhaps other friends would be better. Oh, well. He'll figure it out. Don Luigi, stop the painting. <laughs> Peter! It's been a dog's minute since we've seen you. Hey, come sit. You know the crew, right? Kimber, Ashley, Danny, Gorgeous. It's Horhills. And of course, your main man, Demarcus. Mm, cool, so you guys just chilling? Nobody chills anymore. We're getting our portrait painted by Don Luigi. <laughs> it's funny, because it's like something my grandparents did. We're totally gramping it. That's cool you hang out with old people. Eh? You'd think they'd uh, gramp your style. <laughs> uh, uh. Whew, getting a little stuffy in here. Let's uh, change up the scenery. Hey, Peter. Can I ask you something personal? Do you like these boots? Yeah. Yeah, sure, they're sparkly. Hey, now if I can ask you something personal, do you think you guys would ever possibly want to help me with the Yule hair costume on Friday? What? Oh, I'm gosh, Pedro! You're the Lord of Misrule? Ugh. That's sick! Of course we'll help you! Oh, man, we should go Yule scaring tonight! Yeah. Please, yeah. can we, can we? Wait, that old tradition of scaring people till they paid tribute? Yeah, like our grandparents did! We can go to the mud flats outside the village. You can bring that costume, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Sure, I'm the Lord of Misrule. I can do whatever I want. Ugh, these mud huts are so earthy. 
It's brilliant. So we're just gonna like pop out and say boo or something, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Time to scare the mud out of these mudders. Eat up your mud, Dad, before it gets hard. Yeah, but I like my mud hard. If you're good, we got that special Yule hair bread and cheese for dessert. Hello? The ancient ah! Yule hair needs to feed your bread and cheese are what we need. The ancient Yule hair needs to feed your bread and cheese are what we need. The Yule hair demands tribute. Here, take it! Thanks! <laughs> I can't believe those mothers gave us their cheese. <laughs> Ew, gross. This tastes like hard milk. Blah. Come on, P-Dog. Let's go freak out people in the palace. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you guys go ahead. I'll, I'll catch up with you in a bit. All right, man. Keep it real. <laughs> Woo! I love you. No consequences. Uh, hello? Oh, sorry. Our place is a mess. Don't come in. No, I'm so sorry. I was actually with that Yule hair group. We didn't mean to trash up your place and scare your old man. It was just a joke. Oh. Some joke. You guys are real funny. No, no, they're good guys. They just like to cut loose, you know? Let's go back to my palace and I'll make them apologize for the whole thing. <gasps> You're the prince? Honey, you must go with this man. A mud girl in the palace? I mean, just think of it. Dad. Come on, just trust me. Hey, sorry again for my friends and I messing up your living room back there. Oh, that wasn't my living room. That was my bedroom, dining room, bathroom, slash kitchen. Oh, all those are separate rooms at my place. <sighs> Must be nice. When my dad's being annoying, I just put a bucket over my head. <laughs> hey, do you know what placemat mazes are? If you're asking if I've ever helped a seal find some pancakes, then the answer is a bottom right-hand corner, upside down, yes. Wow, finally someone who gets me. Do you ever feel like a featureless blob? Yeah, all the time. I'm Peter, by the way. <sighs> I'm kind of embarrassed by my name. Come on, I won't laugh. Slidgemantha. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, totally normal name. <laughs> no, you Dorcas. You really thought that was my name? Well, <laughs> I don't know. You guys really like mud. I mean, so what is your real name then? Madria Dirtman. Peter! What did you do? It's dead. Peter told us to take it to the mud flat. He wanted to scare some mud people because he thought it'd be fun to laugh at. What? No, that's not true. That mud girl's the one that got mud all over it. <laughs> mud girl, what do you have to say for yourself? Wait, what? I don't understand. He said, what do you have to say for yourself? It, can you understand highborn language? You're, you're all terrible. Wait, Madria. Forget it, Peter, you're all the same. Dandies? Alistair. Hello, my young lord. You want to help me get revenge on those dandies? Oh, those guys always make fun of my haunt. Yeah, I ain't got nothing else to do. Movie. What? Did you just say groovy? No, movie. This just feels like something out of a movie. Watch a movie. Yeah, yeah, that's it. He was all like, no, no, mud girl, come back. Hey, guys. Peter, what's up? Bummer about what happened, man. Hey, but thanks for taking the heat on that, though. Eh, forget my old man. Who's ready for some more Yule scaring? Whoa. Hey, that sounds <laughs> cool, man. Cool. Cool. See you there. Where the heck is Peter? He's like really late. Yeah, but he's making us wait. That's kind of cool. Whoa, Whoa what's, what's going on? on? Dandies, the time of judgment is upon you. You have been selfish, arrogant, and cruel to the mud people. For this, the spirit of the hair seeks atonement. We're sorry! Sorry's not enough! Never disrespect the mud people. Confess your transgressions to the king. Okay, okay! Yeah, we'll do anything! And finally, tell Alistair he's a beautiful man. Huh? Do it! Okay, yeah, we'll we'll do it. Do it. Now leave this place! <laughs> I can't believe it. It worked so good! Well, I might have made my enchanted fog a little too strong. Yeah. A bit too strong. <laughs> Peter! Hey, Peter! Madria! I saw everything from my mud hut window. I can't believe you did that! Well, they deserved it. I'd rather be a stick in the mud than cool anyways. Stick in the mud's worth a lot around here. Peter! Mom? We saw everything from a different mud hut window. You built this? This is better than that old costume. Perhaps I'll help you drive us around the feast on Friday. No, me! Me, me! Peter, I should do it, right? Actually, I was gonna ask my friend to help. 
What do you say, Madria? Of course. Yeah! Got a friend! High five! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, sorry. You'll get used to that. <laughs>